hello youtubers welcome back to my channel so in this video we will be creating the sky and the terrain objects but before we get started make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out my realistic game development tutorials and guess what once we wrap up this series i'll be sharing the complete project files with you so make sure you hit that bell icon to be first in line to grab the exclusive project files okay so let's start creating our terrain so before actually creating the terrain, let me familiarize you with my setup. So this is my Blender workspace. Currently I'm using Blender 4.0 version and whatever keys I press on my keyboard will be visible like this area. So if I forget to tell any keys, then you can just watch this area to know what key currently I am pressing. All right, so let's start. Press A once or twice to select everything and then delete. Next, we will add a mesh, a plain mesh and we'll scale it up. So you can use your mouse movement to scale the mesh. Let it be some work this. Okay, so we will go to edit mode and then press W and click on subdivide. We will subdivide the mesh few more time. Okay, so I guess this is fine. Now what we need is we need bumps on our terrain. So to add bump, we will select this point. This is a random point, not you know fixed one. So we'll press O to enable this proportional editing, and then press G. Now you can grab the vertex. So press G and you scroll your mouse wheel to you know increase the affected area. All right, I'll create four hump, hump at four corners. and i'll just drag the center only quite low okay now this looks completely plain so what we do is we go to sculpt mode and then we select the brush clay strip we will change the strength to be 0.2 go to top view and start painting it so my radius is quite large so press f and drag your mouse This is not necessarily required, but just to add a few extra details on your terrain. Okay, so once you finish adding the smaller details on your terrain, so we just smooth our terrain. So to smooth it, we'll just select the smooth brush tool, change the value to 0.1. And then again just paint on it you may think why am i creating terrain in blender and not using any add-on and the reason is because my demo scene is very small and it don't require any add-on and upon that for small terrain blender helps in high customization so i am using blender to create it but if you are using a large terrain for your open world games then make sure you use a add-on rather than building it in blender Alright, so I guess our terrain has been finished sculpting. Now we will export our terrain. So we will go to object mode. We will select our terrain. So before actually exporting it, let me tell you one thing. I will be not adding textures in Blender. I will be using Godot to add our textures on our terrain. Alright. So now before exporting, make sure you have a Godot project file. So if you don't, then go ahead and create a go dot project file okay so let's export it so we'll click on export and then we'll export a obg file okay so i have created a check 4.1 as my project so this is a basic empty project all right so let's create a new folder rename it terrain open it up and then we'll rename our object to be terrain and that's it click on export view friend obj so now our terrain has been exported okay so now we are in godot and let's start creating the environment i mean sky so before actually creating the sky let me show you the repository which i'll be using so this is a repository of volumetric clouds given by clay john so you can see the complete description how it is Alright, so we'll just download this zip file. 
I'll be not downloading it because I have already did it. But if you don't, then just go ahead and download it. So once you download, just click and open the file. And from this file, we will be needing four files. All right. So the first one is cloud.gd shader. The next one is this file, Perl noise TGA, blah, blah, blah. The next one is weather. And the last one is again, wall noise. Just copy this. All right, again, go to your go dot folder and then here we will paste all of them. So before actually pasting it, we will create a new folder and we will rename it to sky and then we'll paste all of these four here. So again, let's back to go dot. All right, so you can see the folder here, which has all these four files. Now let's create a 3D scene and then add a word environment node and the environment type will be new environment background mode to be sky all right and the sky to be a new sky and sky material will be a new shader material and the shader is new shader we'll load the shader here so again go to the sky folder basically you go to the sky folder and then click on clouds dot jd shader and click on open then click on load so now you can see our sky has been loaded but the clouds are not correct because we haven't assigned any texture yet so if you go to shader parameters if you scroll down you see we have three boxes which requires three textures so if you select this wall noise then you can see it requires a compressed texture 3d so basically it requires a texture 3d and if you select the wall noise dot bmp type is again texture 2d if you see uh, compressed texture 2d so we need a 3d texture but our texture is 2d this is because the default godot setting imports the texture as 2d and not 3d so to change it just select the texture go to import section and here you'll see we import it as texture 2d but what you want is we want a texture 3d so just change the format and the mode to be vram compressed we enable high quality and generate to be on the horizontal will be 32 for wall noise and the vertical will be one then we just re-import it so when we click on the re-import it says to save our scene all right so first we will save the scene and i will name it as env environment all right so now let's re-import it so save scene re-import and restart okay so the go dot has been restarted now we will do the same thing for this pearl wall noise so select the texture go to import section then change the mode to be texture 3d this one is vram compressed click on high quality generate should be on and for slices the horizontal this time it will be 128 and vertical will be one click on re-import again it asks for save scene re-import and restart so just click on it Okay, so now our Godot has been restarted. So if you select the world node now, in the sky, sky material, in the shader parameters, now we can see that we can easily import this to be here. So if you just hover over one of the texture, it shows compressed texture 3D. Previously it was showing compressed texture 2D. All right, so let's quickly assign all the three. whether it should be a compressed texture 2d make sure you don't import it as 3d okay so now you can see our clouds has been assigned all right so the last thing what you do is we just change the cloud coverage to be 0.2 because clouds are very much and i don't need it all right so that's it for the cloud or the environment the post processing work will be shown at as a tutorial so that's it for the environment okay so now let's start adding our terrain 
so the previously terrain which we created in blender is here it's an obg file which we exported all right so now let's add it in our scene so we will add a mesh instance 3d and then for the mesh we will assign our terrain so click on open so this is our terrain and let's add texture on it so the textures i'll be using is downloaded from this site so it's an ambientcg.com and the texture name is ground037 so this is the texture which i'll be using so i'll be using a jpg format not a png because the size of the png is quite large so we'll be using jpg and png is also not required so make sure you download it i have already downloaded it so i'll just open it up and these are the images which the sites provide so what we need is we need an ambient occlusion we need a color we need displacement we need a normal gl and we need a roughness so select all of them copy open up your project and again in the terrain i will paste all of this and let's go back to godot so now we're in godot and let's add a material for our terrain so we'll select the surface material override to be a new standard material 3d and the albedo is this color and next we have ambient occlusion so ambient occlusion on we'll drag and drop the AO texture next we have displacement which is again height next we have normal and the last one is roughness okay so once we have added our texture we see that the texture is quite large the unwrapping of the texture is very large and we don't need it so we'll just you know scale down our texture so if you go to uv section you can see scaling option here so we just scale a level of two or three all right i think two is good so that's it in this tutorial so in the next tutorial we'll be adding grass and flowers along with object placements so that's it for the tutorial thank you guys for watching my tutorial if you have any questions you can comment me below do like the tutorial do comment do subscribe and always have a great day